I am not Morgan Freeman, and what you see is not real. Well, at least in contemporary terms, it is not. We're entering an era in which our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time. You guys cool if I play some sports? If you like what you're seeing, just wait till what's coming next. Artificial intelligence has made it so easy for anybody to create deepfakes with a couple of clicks in a couple of minutes. And although it's highly amusing, entertainment wise, it can have devastating consequences when it comes to national security, when it comes to political implications, when it comes to scams, to threats, to fake news, to frauds. We're going to cover a lot of this in this video because the consequences can be terrible for someone's reputation and it's happening right now. And I don't think that there's any video out there detailing all the various ways that deep fakes can be problematic in society. And so I'm gonna aim to tackle that in this video. So let's start with the first and most simplest one, which is spreading false information. Right now, you can't even tell if I'm real or fake. There is nothing I could do on this video that will help you discern between whether this is reality and me actually speaking into a camera or if I'm just a deep fake speaking. And this makes it so easy to manipulate information, to spread false information from anyone's mouth, whether it's the president, whether it's celebrities endorsing certain things like the vaccines or trying to scare people or talk about military action, like making videos of Zelensky in Ukraine saying something that he actually isn't. We're about to have an election in America and you're going to see how wild and chaotic deep fakes can get and how tricky they can be. And people are really going to believe that certain folks are endorsing certain politicians, even though they're not. It's just deep fakes created to go ahead and convince people that this is a good candidate or that's a bad candidate. And you won't be able to sift through all the news and realize what's true and what is fake. Think of Putin telling the troops something in Russia or America or Ukraine that's not actually happening. Think about some of our generals coming out and creating videos talking about something. This can create a lot of panic. Think of a stock. Think of a company you follow. Imagine seeing Elon Musk come out and say, oh my God, we just put out a new Tesla that has the capability to drive itself and it crashed into a telephone pole and it killed five people. The stock would tank like 10% a day if that was actually true, but it's not, but people can easily make deep fakes. I know that's a ridiculous example, but there's gonna be a ton of those where there is news coming straight from the mouth of the CEO and you can't discern that it's actually a deep fake doing that. Fraud and scams are going to run rampant. People are going to exploit other people. People are going to blackmail. People are going to exploit the likeness of celebrities. They're going to go ahead and promote certain products. This is already happening. If you look at what's happened with Tom Hanks and some other celebrities, you will see that they are endorsing products that they're not actually endorsing. It's deep fakes doing it and they're coming out and they're saying, don't listen to this, don't listen to that. And managing that is going to get very, very tricky. It's going to be like the spam folder in your email inbox. There will just be too much much and you won't be able to tell which celebrity is actually endorsing something and which celebrity is not. And that touches upon the topic of consent. These celebrities aren't consenting to these ads being created with deep fakes and something else that is a consent issue that is huge that a lot of people don't talk about because it is a very controversial topic and a dirty one is nudity, is porn, revenge porn. People are creating deep fakes they're taking an image of a woman or girl they know and they're creating terrible footage of pornographic situations and then they're blackmailing her hey we're gonna send this around to your kids we're gonna send this to your colleagues at work we're gonna go ahead and publish this if you don't give us a certain amount or they just go ahead and do it and they basically turn her into a porn star and let her loose on the internet and by the time she realizes what's going on, she has no idea who's creating it, who's doing it, and it results in terrible anguish, anxiety, depression, helplessness. This can really, really be used to damage a lot of reputations and cause tremendous amounts of emotional trauma. Deep fakes can really erode the trust of 
the people because we can't tell what is real and what is fake. And what before was like unhealthy skepticism, like, hmm, this person's saying that, but I don't know. Let me check their sources. Let me see what they're actually talking about. Now people aren't going to trust anything. And that's going to turn into like the boy who cried wolf about everything. And even if it's true, they're not going to believe it. They're going to say, oh, this is probably a deep fake. And it's going to cause a lot of chaos. And so people are really going to have to rely on being digitally savvy and go to certain resources to make sure that they understand that this is actually the truth or something that's actually being said and not done with deep fake. And again, this results in so much stress, anxiety, and honestly, depression. It's just depressing to think about the sheer amount of scams, frauds that are going to be coming our way in the next weeks, months, and years. So that's something that can happen on a personal level, but on a national level, there can definitely be international conflicts that are sparked. Racial tensions, which are so tense everywhere in the world. I live in the States. It's tense here as well. And certain propaganda can go ahead and enhance that. They can put some gas on the flames of racial tensions and create real terrible situations in society. This is something that we need to take really, really seriously, because I believe that in the coming days, weeks, and years, there's going to be a technological war that has already started, a technological arms race where the good people, they're going to be trying to improve detection of the algorithms and build certain AIs that will help us detect whether something is a deep fake. The bad actors, they're going to enhance the sophistication of the fake content to go ahead and be able to maneuver around the detection of it being fake. So what is the solution? The solution is, is that we have to get informed. We have to have digital literacy among our population, and there has to be a development of a technical, legal, and ethical framework to manage and mitigate risks posed by deepfakes. This is a very serious issue. The question is, how the hell do we do that? How do we decide who to put in charge of an agency that's going to create guardrails for the AI industry? Also, if we do that in America, are other countries going to commit to that? Or are we just going to fall behind because we have all these rules and regulations that are going to suppress innovation? And then another country that might be our adversary are going to go ahead and go full throttle with it and pass us by. One thing is for sure, whoever is going to have the more advanced AI is going to rule the world. This right now is a serious technological arms race. And it's a very tricky one because there's many ethical implications. And as time goes by, we will learn even more ways that deepfakes can be a lot of trouble for societies. I think that there is a lot more danger coming from deepfakes. This is the aspect of artificial intelligence that I personally am most afraid of. And I do feel like we should be concerned. And again, the first and foremost way to combat this is to educate yourself, to become digitally literate in every way that you can about AI, about the scams, the frauds that are out there. And even if you saw the intro to this video with some of those deep fakes and you're saying, this is clearly fake, I could so tell it's fake, it's only gonna get more real from here. And I'm telling you, you won't be able to differentiate between what's real and not real when you're watching it digitally. So definitely stay informed. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this deep fake situation. And I will aim to respond to every single comment that comes through in the comment section. And I will see you all in the next video.